Hello and welcome, my name is Ajax Post and this is Transport Fever, the one hub let's play speed build series. Do you remember this old train? I don't know if you do particularly. Um, it's, the, it's carrying the wheat from uh, that farm over there, which as you can see is generating a lot of wheat, to our plastics factory here, <coughs> from which we're taking plastics up there in, over the horizon to create goods with some planks. And it's all part of a little bit of a <coughs> an issue I've got at the moment in the game. Now, we have um, actually started, in the few years since we last looked at it, started making some money out of this goods factory here. And quite, quite astonishingly, and, and I hadn't spotted it until I sort of was preparing for this recording, that our steel supply trains have made money. I mean, we spent years. How long have these been going? <laughs> Good grief. Where does the time go, honestly? Um, yeah, for 15 years, <clears throat> we made no money at all. Pretty much. Well, for 10, thereabouts. Uh, and we're finally coming into profit. Um, but we're seeing... Um, the, 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 um, <laughs> I'll try and get my teeth back in. We're seeing the planks building up here at the sawmill. And I think the issue I've got there is that we've got plastic coming in at a moderate rate uh, from the plastic factory that come down this line here, uh, over here. I think we picked up some planks on the way through, drops them off here, and that makes a, a few goods. And we get the steel delivery from our <clears throat> hilltop, our mesa top um, steel foundry up here. Is there a steel foundry? I think that's the right word. Um, Oh, and look at this. Oh, we're getting lots. This looks like are those trains making money as well. That's the steel supply one. Also save. Don't come in now. I was in the middle of showing something off. Uh, where are we? Over here. Yeah, yeah. These these trains here. So iron bulk. Oh, yeah. These are making money. You see, if you give them long enough, <clears throat> uh, that most trains do end up making money if there is a logic to the route they're taking. Now the issue I've got here is <clears throat> we've got in this goods factory uh, it's producing a, a modest amount but is being oversupplied by um, steel and plastic compared to the number of planks it's bringing through. So <clears throat> going back to that wheat train <laughs> that we looked at to start with I want to increase that because there's plenty of supply going there so I want to take that supply away so I want to increase the capacity of that line which I think I will need to increase the, the capacity of the line bringing the plastic up as well. Uh, the steel, I think I'm happy with that, but I really need to make sure we're getting all this, um, all these planks put through as well. And I'm just wondering, actually, looking at this, whether it might be better to send those on by road. Because it isn't far, is it, really? And then the train... Uh, coming from the, uh, the, the don't, don't turn around, coming up from the big hub here, which is, it's getting the plastic that's brought up from the plastic factory, it's being dropped here, that's being picked up by another train to be dropped off <coughs> at the goods factory. Um, so I think actually it might be worth, is that, uh, oh it is, that is the one. So that is, uh, well that's making loads of money. Is that just the one train on that route? What did I put two on there? I did put two on. Seven million? I'm not going to complain about that at all. Um, but, yeah, well, I, th I think I might do that, actually. I might put trucks in there. Or well, do I have spare capacity at this station? I do. I do. I've only got two lines going in there at the moment, don't I? Uh, do that instead. No, we'll keep it with trains. We'll put a little shunter kind of thing in there, which just ferries that those planks all the way up there. Okay, right. Now, this is supposed to be a speed build, not me talking over exactly everything I'm going to be doing. So, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to upgrade the capacity of this uh, train here. Uh, I've already put the um, replacement in place. Uh, it goes a bit faster. It goes, I think, it will go about 
75, 80 miles an hour. Um, so that that's nice. That that should hopefully supply plenty of of, of uh, what am I talking about? Of <laughs> wheat <laughs> to to the plastics factory here. But the plastics line uh, that's running quite small trains still. So we're going to increase the capacity on those as well. So let's put that to one side as well over there. Um, the big hope. Well, let's let's watch this actually before we move on out. I just like seeing this is a new modded vehicle which I've not used before. So just in case it's of interest to you, we'll we'll show it off as well. We're using the uh, the in-game vanilla gondola for carrying the wheat. It's the it's the most effective way of doing it. The most the cost-effective way of doing it. Oh. Oh, did I not tell him to check? Oh, good grief, man. Ah. Yeah, I didn't tell it to change, did I? Replace now. Yes. <laughs> we'll come back and look at that one later, I think. Okay, a couple of other things that I'm concerned about. Um, we'll go to Big Hogan to start with. Uh, we'll go here, go to that train. That's the quickest way of getting there. Uh, this is a fairly nice commuter route running between our big passenger hub here, Big Hogan, and Three Sisters, uh, which is a fairly busy station collecting passengers from uh, these other towns out here, North Window and Merrick Mitten, our twin towns there. Um, and that's uh, both, all the trains on that are running full. Uh, both trains, uh, 64, they're, they're not very big. They've been running for a few years and they're very nicely profitable. So we'll we'll update those. We'll put some new vehicles on there, I think. We'll deal with those. And finally, Olcetto Monument Valley, our hub town itself. Now, I've noticed in the last year or so uh, of game time, and also if I, I played on for another four or five years as well, that the actual population of the city is going into decline for a bit. Now, it does this every now and then, and I'm just concerned because we're, we're just over 4,000 or so now. Shall I actually show you the number? I'll show you the number. 4,200. It was 4,400 a year or so back. And it will drop a bit more uh, if the, the play on I've done is anything to go by. I'd like to, to stop that. Now, I, I think we, we've got the new passenger services coming in here. The new faster, the new faster and uh, larger so that should be okay. The interstation link trains, which I was going to replace in the last episode, but didn't have time to do, I've now replaced with these smart new commuter trains. Uh, they're, they're carrying... what well, clicked on a person. Sorry about that, old chap. Uh, they're carrying a few more passengers, uh, and they're still making money. They're actually making money now, which they didn't often do. And to be honest, they don't need them to make a lot of money because they're just ferrying passengers around so they can get to their most preferred um, destination, basically. So they're replaced, they're doing well. But <clears throat> the thing that concerns me is that we're not getting cargo, we're not getting freight delivered into the city. When I first set this map up, I had trucks taking all the, the, the goods out of here into the city. And that's that hogged pretty much all the capacity on that hub here. It's doing much the same now, to be honest. So I can see Olgetto Monument Valley Freight. That's where most of the stuff is, is often going. Uh, so I took the trucks off and put a train in there to try and limit that so I could get more goods being sent out to the other towns on the map. Now, I'm concerned that we're not getting enough delivered in town. So I'm think, trying to think of a way of, of addressing that. And I'll see if I can fit that into today's episode as well. So that's the plan for today. Uh, so I'm fixing, some upgrading, some new trains um, going on. Uh, and that should be it. There are a couple of new routes I think I can put into the map. But I think in terms of routes, connections, we're pretty much done. So it's a matter of just keeping the thing ticking over and filling in gaps and making sure it's as efficient as it can be. So I will stop waffling at this point because that's pretty much what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> and we'll get into the speed build section. So it only remains for me to say thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video, the uh, the, the uh, speed build section. 
If you do, it'd be great if you'd leave a like. A click on the thumbs up would be very much appreciated. But even better, any thoughts, suggestions, recommendations, even criticisms you might have, drop it out into the comments box below. That would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you're not done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, uh, here in Transport Fever, I'll see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of the video. And until next time, bye bye for now.